Hi everyone, this is Aya from Foya Neo, and today I'm going to be taking you through creating renderings. So we will just get right into our space and go into the kitchen and then go into take render mode. So from here we can see at the top is where we have almost all of our um, editing options in, our, in, in rendering mode. Um, first thing I will do is actually set my camera angle for the first image that I'm going to want to take. Now, a tip with taking renderings is to always try to have your image at an eye level view. That way it feels more realistic. It feels like the person that's looking at the, at the final rendering is actually inside of the space and they can relate to it more. So for this view, we will go right at the center. So you can use um, this camera height option to go up and down. So that's um, it's whatever feels most comfortable, obviously. Um, we have so we have the height tab, and this is uh, very useful for hiding things that can be in your way that you don't want to show in your image. So for example, um, I don't want to show these dining chairs and the bars. So I'll just click on them to hide them so that they don't interrupt anything in my image. Now they're not deleted, they're just hidden. So all I have to do is just click on each individual thing I want to bring back. Or I can click on unhide all and bring all of them back as well. Um, now the main part with taking renderings and I feel like is the most important one is the lighting tab right here next to the height option. So once you do go onto the lighting tab, you'll notice that you have three times of day. You have day, evening, and nighttime. Each time of day has its own set of presets and its own environment options as well. Um, so once you do figure out what time of day that you like for your images to give you that lighting that you prefer, then um, select that. So for this case, I will go with evening and I like to use the sunny evening preset. That's my favorite one for me. And I'm just going to fix up my camera view just like that. There we go. Now back into the lighting. If your space doesn't have a lot of um, artificial lights like ceiling lights or floor lamps, um, it might be a little bit dark or a little bit dull. You can always adjust the interior lighting depending on what you want. Obviously, if you prefer a bit of a moodier space with less lights, you can um, go on to low interior lighting or even none. If you do prefer a brighter space, then you can go to medium or high. In this case, um, this space is extremely open. As you can see, it's like a large kitchen, living and dining. And... A lot of natural sunlight does come into this space, so we don't need too much um, interior lighting. Like, we don't need this to be adjusted. So after figuring out your time of day preset and interior lighting, the next thing that you would want to do is select your environment. Now, obviously, you do have the option of going on none, and that will show you nothing. Um, but the environment is what you will see outside of windows or if you have any glass doors, anything that lets you look outside, that's what will be shown. So for this option, I will go with a rooftop, so like a city view. I'll go, I like to use the Barcelona rooftop option. And all I have to do is click on it and then I'll have this rotate come up and I can actually use this and toggle and go 360 degrees all the way around until I find the exact view that I want to be shown outside of my window. So as you can see, there is a lot um, that you can look through. So maybe this is the view that I want and I'll just keep it there. Um, now the next Thing, which the last two options in the lighting tab are all the way at the bottom and that's just the product lighting and the sun so if you do have the product lighting on then any artificial lights that you have will be turned on including lamps ceiling lights chandeliers um, spotlights uh, things also like candles will be turned on lamps anything that might have a light aspect to it will be on you can turn this off as well if you prefer but i will leave it on for now uh, you can also turn the sun off or on so as you can see when i turned it off 
that shadow from the sun is gone, the brightness. So I will leave it on for this case. Now with nighttime mode, the sun is automatically turned off. It's not there just because obviously it's nighttime. Um, before, before we do go ahead and render, so we've set our camera angle, we've set our lighting and our environment and the time of day that we want. The last two things we have up the, up the top is field of view, which lets you either zoom in or out. And you also have a clip view, which will let you cut and create a section um, just like that if I wanted to show specific things. So you can, you can also do that. Um, the next thing which is also important is adjusting the sun position. So you have this blue circle with the yellow circle inside of it. If you click and move the yellow circle, that is actually the sun. And as you can see here, um, as I'm moving the sun around, which means it's coming in from different directions, it's creating shadows, it's creating light in a different way. So you can use this to your advantage. Um, to really figure out how the sun coming into your space will affect the lighting in there. So I'm just gonna leave the sun there for now. Once I've set everything just like how I want it to be, um, one thing I will always recommend to always, always do is get a preview. So this will load up this little mini screen here and it is amazing. So the preview will give you a, um, like a mini rendering and let you know and give you an idea of how the final image will look before you actually do go ahead and render it. And it's great because if you did want to adjust something in the lights or maybe you wanted to adjust something in the furniture that allows you to go back and do that um, because you were able to see that in the preview option. So while we wait for that to load, I'm actually going to minimize this little tab and keep it loading. It's not going to stop. Um, what I like to do to take advantage of my time as I'm waiting for this to load is actually figure out my next camera angles. So I want to save this view in case it's perfect and it comes out exactly like how I want it to be. So I will click on to save view and I'll name this kitchen view. And save that so now that that's saved we can see that when we come onto views here it's saved right there um, that allows me to then move around freely figure out my next camera angle my next position that I want so maybe I want something looking straight at the fireplace or maybe from the side um, and like once I figure out that camera angle as well I can save that one and yeah, so now my preview generated, as we can see here, preview generated, and it lets you know that no credits were used because it's just a preview. I'll then open that up and I can see how my space looks. Now, personally, I like the lighting in there, but maybe a different time I'd want to adjust it and make it brighter. That's where I would then come back into lighting take this from low to medium, make the space feel a little bit brighter and a little bit more awake. But with the time of day that I chose, the lighting that I have there works great for me. So now that I have the preview and I like how it looks, I want to go back to that exact view, to that exact camera position and take a rendering of it. Um, all I'll have to do is click onto views and onto the view that I saved and it'll jump me straight back there. That saves me time from having to figure out exactly where I was, the right position and everything else. So that's awesome. Um, the final thing that we do have is actually the ability to crop your image. So we have these white lines on the top and the bottom and also the left and the right hand side. So there is a couple of options with cropping an image before you do render it. You can click over here where it says custom. You can select one of the preset dimensions just like that. Or you can obviously go to custom and you yourself can move this in or out and from the top and bottom as well. To really get to really only show what you want to show in the image so that um, gives you that ability um, yes yeah, so that's everything with taking renderings and setting your views i hope that this was helpful and happy designing